Alright, so we're gonna teach you um <coughs> posts. Okay, let's get started. S C D into the directory where we left off. So it's like EGA EJS. Cool. Next we're gonna install npm body parser. It's NP npm install body parser. Cool. We're installing it. Then we're gonna require it, so it's gonna be var body parser require. So we're just grabbing a library into our program. Okay. Next, it doesn't matter. We're just gonna copy paste this, and it's always used. So it's to grab information. From like the web forms, so yeah. Require. See, it's always this one, so it can like read. What's a false though? True. Well, hopefully later on I'll teach you how to like do it with the database. So let's play with that for now. So it's always that line. Okay, let's get cracking. Um, let's create a new view. So let's touch views. That's kind of new, yeah. Touch view list dot ejs. Okay, now just, see it just popped up list, and we're gonna create a new get. So just copy and paste this. I should really have a list already. Um, don't worry about that. Um, don't worry about that script up there. Let's just worry about this one. We're gonna create a list. Let's call this list. List. We're going to create a variable called list. And we're going to create a list. So, one, two, three. Okay, create a list. We have it outside so we can like. Grab it in because, like, we don't really database. Let's just demonstrate. Use equal because we're shooting it out, we're not hiding it. Call it a list. Okay, let's see if it works. No demand app.js. Uh, let's 
I'm gonna switch to Jade. Error. Just hmm. for each function. Rest. Hold on, I need to bug this. Be right back. All right, I'm back. Um, I didn't need to hold it in the variable, so the list is back. So, yeah, this is the list. So let's create a form. I need to hold it in a variable. That was my bad. We're gonna create a form. So form. Sorry about that. Let's try to hard code this form. Action is going to be post. No, action is not post. It's going to be let's create add. That'll be my action. My method is going to be post. All caps. Sorry, post. Add the typos. Type it. Input. Call this. List and we're going to put submit. Oh, got that. And now let's create the post. So it's going to be app dot post. Call that add. And do the same stuff. Just to remember the patterns like request, rest, because it's already been programmed for you, so you don't really have to know what it does. You have to know what that stuff does. So, next, we're gonna. It's called list. So, bar. Add, let's call add new. I'm gonna push add new to the array right here. So let's be a bigger array. So we're gonna request body new body what did I name this guy? List. I'm gonna have a debug, and we're gonna push we're gonna push list sorry dot list we're gonna push it and new okay and we're gonna redirect back to List. Hey, it did break, so let's try it. And it works. So you adding. Alright, um let's let's create a delete button. So let's do the same thing. Cost guy delete. And this will be pop. So it removes the last one. Pop. So we're gonna create a new form. This is gonna be. I'm gonna call it that. 
cause that delete. That's fine. So do delete. And we're not gonna do this. Cause guy delete. Right, we have the value. Sorry. There we go. Add some. There we go. Delete. So I taught you how to. Add and delete. So this is basically how like uh, beginning of a REST API, but this doesn't have a database. So we had a dummy database right here. So you can use like Postman to do like a a get. So let's do a get with Postman. It doesn't get all those three arrays. So let's do a get. I think we're going to start the server. There we go. So get. So we're going to get all this. That's a get. A get. And then we're going to do a post. We're going to try to do. Let's do add. Add to the key is list, and we're gonna add a one. See if that works. No, that's not what it's called. What the hell is it called? Oh my, let's try adding. Okay, I don't know how to do it through this. It's posting, but I'm not getting the sending the correct information. So yeah, you can delete it and you can submit something new, which is very cool. So I hope you learned something. I taught you how to do post on um, X Node Express, and this will be probably my last tutorial. I'll do a quick recap. I create a page, not home, a list page, so I can like do a for each loop to grab all the arrays or do the pretend database from here. Pretend database. Don't, don't worry about these stuff, stuff. Which is list one, two, three. And then I'd create a git. So I grab that page called list right here. And I went to it slash list. And then I create a post, which is like how you make the web page dynamic to add stuff to a list or like post forms because backend is like posting stuff and checking passwords we use the this library to read the posts to read this stuff if not it would not read it 
because I it can't read it that way. Um, you can also do a jQuery, but this is with Express, so. And then I taught you how to delete with also post. I just use pop instead. Always use the reverse of the other thing. Yeah. So. I guess you change the variable thing. I'll do delete instead of pop because it's still grabbing the this with this right here. And res redirect just refresh the page. It redirects it to the same page of list, which you want to do. So, yeah. You can always look at the docs. Sorry for not explaining well. I can go to ESJS. Absurd. Yeah, there's a post method here. But this will just send back a message. Oh, puts like update. So. Yeah, docs are not that good. It's good to like do a startup. It's better get a book. So, and done, Mr. Charles. So, I hope you learned something. Till next time, guys. Bye.